Hello YouTube and welcome back to a new guide on Clash of Clans. In this episode, we're going to learn about the Mass Hog Attack Strategy. Mass Hog Riders consist of Hog Riders as you can probably tell. Some people also like to add in a few minions to help take out the buildings once all the defenses are taken out. Mass Hogs is primarily used in trophy hunting and in wars as it costs a ton of Dark Elixir. Generally, you will be using about 1,500 to 2,000 Dark Elixir per raid. Mass Hogs is used to get 3 stars, which is also why you commonly will be seeing it used in wars. Only use Hog Riders if they are level 3 and above, as level 2 and 1 Hog Riders have very low hit points. I have 200 army space, so I like to use 31 Hog Riders, 21 Archers and 6 Wizards. I find having 30 plus Hog Riders is enough. I also like to use the 21 Archers to lure out the Clan Castle, and I use the 6 Wizards for taking out the enemy Clan Castle troops. If you have 220 or 240 army spaces, use a few more wizards as they can be helpful for taking out the heroes and clan castle troops. In your spell factory, you should be using heal spells. I have 3 spell slots and I like to use 3 heal spells. If you have 4 or 5 spell slots, I would recommend using 4 heal spells and either rage spell or free spell. The free spell can be used to freeze inferno towers and the rage spell can be used to get the hogs moving a bit faster. Your clan castle troops are essential in any raid. When using hog raiders, you can either use wizards, archers, hog riders, dragons, and minions. Having wizards and archers are useful luring out the clan castle and taking them out. Dragons and minions can also be used to clean up the base once all the defenses are taken out. To use any strategy effectively, you need to know what position each troop has in the strategy, so please read the information I've listed below. First of all, hog riders have medium hit points, move at a medium pace, and do medium damage, however they do high damage in groups. Hog Riders only attack defensive buildings. Level 1 to 4 Hog Riders are interkilled with 2 level 3 giant bombs. Level 5 Hog Riders are interkilled with 3 level 2 plus giant bombs. Also, be careful for wizards in the enemy clan castle, as wizards will interkill any Hog Rider. Okay, so before we start attacking, there are a few rules you must follow in order to attack well and get 3 stars. Number 1, never attack a base with a clan castle that cannot be lured. Also, beware of bases with funneling, as the funneling will definitely take out your hog riders. Number 2. Lure the clan castle and heroes with 1-3 to three hog riders and kill them with wizards, archers, clan castle or your heroes. Number 3. Deploy all of your hog riders in one spot. Some people also like to deploy two lines of hog riders, however only do this if your hog riders are level 4. Number 4. Once the majority of defenses are taken out, deploy your heroes to clean up the base. If you have minions or dragons left, start deploying those too. I'd also like to say, only use your seal spells when necessary, as you'll need to save them up for later in the raid. Now that we know how to attack, let's actually start attacking some bases. Okay guys, I'm about to show you all an attack I just did. Save for the low level raiding, but since I am farming in gold league, there aren't many high level bases to attack. Okay guys, so let's see how it went out. Okay, so as you can see, I deployed one archer just now to check for clan castle reinforcements. No clan castle troops appear, so this rage can be much easier. I then deployed some archers from the outside to check the um, Bob King. So he's about to jump off the walls, and I then deploy a few more archers and two wizards just to take him out real quick. Okay, then I started deploying my hog riders on the bottom right, so they can take out all the wizard towers and the motors real quickly. So yeah, I just deployed a few archers now, and now I deploy all of my hog riders. So since like there are a few wizard towers and all the motors shooting like shooting them, I'm gonna start to deploy some heal spells just to heal them up. Just now. Okay, so then I'm gonna deploy my clan castle troops soon soon and I just deploy them. And yeah, so right now all the wizard I mean all of the uh, all the wizard towers are taken care of, all the motors are taken care of, well almost all the motors are taken care of. So there aren't really any defenses that can really damage my hogs. And I still have two heal spells left, I believe. So yeah, so I just got one star on the base, I then deploy my Bob King because all of the defenses are taken care of, and he goes straight towards the Surges and the Town Hall. So there it's pretty much over guys, um, no defenses left and only the loot to take. So that was a pretty easy raid guys, um, but yeah, as you can see it's pretty successful, got about 370k resources and yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next section. Okay guys, just to summarize, be sure to leave out the clan castle, deploy your spells only when necessary, and try to deploy your heroes last to take out the outside buildings. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope this video provided some information about this strategy. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and if you want a guide on a specific strategy, please let me know. A Bart guide will be coming out next. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.